Jacob, do you have a minute? Of course. I've heard that you're going to Hollywood Hills. Well, with Baron yelling like that, the whole shelter heard. He wanted me to tell you if I needed anything, so here it is. When you get to Hollywood Hills, could you stop by my old house? It's near the Griffith Park tennis courts. I wonder if Peter went there and left something for me. I know he'd be stupid to go there since now it's behind the Annihilation line, but then again, he was always full of stupid ideas. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Jacob. What's in your mind? Ever since you asked me about Peter, I can't stop thinking about him. Like a teenage girl. <laughs> That's your fault, young man. Have you tried looking for him? I've looked for him for a while. I went to the place where we said we'd meet if we ever got separated. But he wasn't there. Maybe it's stupid. Maybe I should stop thinking about him. He's... he's probably dead by now. God knows he can't take care of himself. Do you want to find him? Sometimes I think I should drop everything and go. I would get an earful from Baron, but she's nothing I can't handle. Anyway, what I didn't tell you before is that during Judgment Day, I lost a child. Our child. I don't know if it would have happened anyway, but I like to blame the machines for that. I think that Peter felt, with Taylor, we were given a second chance. God, he's still out there waiting for me, isn't he? Probably sitting in his rocking chair back in our house in Hollywood Hills. Oh, where the hell are you, Peter? Look at him. He never talks to anyone. He just sits there. I bet he's one of those machines. Jacob, I didn't see you there. Is there something on your mind? Actually, I have a secret to tell you. You have a fan. Patrick really looks up to you. It's good for him to have a role model. And I don't think he could have chosen better. I don't think I'd make for a good role model. <laughs> I never knew Jacob Rivers could be so coy. Be proud. You're a hero. The Resistance owes you a lot. And so do I. <laughs> if you hadn't found us back in Pasadena, I don't know what would have happened. Well, actually I do exactly what the others said would happen. People were talking about the Annihilation Line months before it came. My father, of course, tried to turn it all into a joke. Knowing your father, it couldn't have been a good joke. <laughs> no, it really wasn't. But I wanted to believe him. I think we all did. He tried very hard to keep everyone from worrying. Maybe a little too hard. You could feel the mood change at the house. The community my father tried to build started falling apart. Fewer and fewer people were coming by. And if they did, they weren't always friendly. We started to notice things going missing. Little things at first. People got nervous. And with time, it even got to my father. What do you mean? Well, for one thing, he stopped making jokes. It had never been as quiet at the house as it had been back then. After a while, my father changed the sign from welcome to beware. He put a lock on the door and started carrying a shotgun. I didn't even know he owned a gun. He always said he didn't believe in them. I wanted us to leave our house and run, but he didn't want to listen. Said it was the only place he could keep us safe. Thanks for letting me spill my guts like that. Is everything okay? You seem far away. Nothing can get past you, can it? I've been thinking about the day we met. I never told you how we really ended up there. You can okay. tell me anything. <clears throat> I know I can. That's why you're the first person I'm telling this to. That day, loud hammering woke me up. When I came downstairs, I saw my father nailing the window shut. Through the crack, I saw them coming. Hundreds of metal heads and their red eyes. 
Even though they're just empty shells, I could feel the hate radiating from them. What did your father do? He said that the machines wouldn't take him alive, and they kept hammering away. We argued for a minute or two, and I tried to pull him away from the window. <clears throat> he pushed me away. I tried it again, but he shoved me. This time it fell. I didn't recognize him as he was reaching for his shotgun. He said, I shouldn't worry about the machines. They wouldn't hurt us. I don't even remember how. But the gun was already in my hands. I closed my eyes and went someplace else. Didn't even hear the shot. I didn't hear Patrick's steps either. He saw you? He did. He was staring at me like I was a stranger. He didn't scream or cry, he just stared. I threw the gun away, grabbed Patrick, and tried not to notice the hole in my father's unmoving chest. As we ran, I could hear them coming, so we found somewhere to hide. Then you came. I wanted to tell someone about all this, but I was afraid to. I'm glad you did. I am too. We talk a lot about how heartless the machines are. And I started to think that maybe I was too. I probably would have convinced myself of that if it wasn't for you keeping me sane. Thank you for everything. I never thought I would find a friend in times like these. Where are you going? I'm going out scavenging. Don't worry. I'm past thinking about running away. Knowing how much you'd miss me made me not want to leave. Where's Patrick? He's getting ready. I'm taking him with me. I figure it's time for him to see what's out there. Look out of that shelter. Do you understand? They're not safe there. What? Why? God damn it! What does he mean? Get everyone out of the shelter? Dr. Mack, is that you? The Resistance needs your help. Mack! It would be a shame to lose that camera. Now, why would you do that? Because we don't have time for this. Come out here. Skynet has developed a new Terminator model, the Infiltrator. You've seen one already? We've captured one, and we need your help. Are you there? How do I know you're not an infiltrator? You've seen them. You know how incredibly lifelike they are, so you should understand my concerns. Head up that hill. If you 
want me to help you, you have to take a test for me. Test? Yes. To determine whether you're a Terminator or not. And be careful. I'm watching you. We don't have time for any of this. Just tell me where you are. I am not a robot. Living tissue would make you a cybernetic organism, not a robot. Words have meaning. Conversations between human beings would be a lot easier if we all just trusted each other and understood the deeper meaning of what we said. Keep that in mind during this test.
Too bad there's no water in that pool. I'd have you jump in and see if you float. Wait, that's a different test. <laughs> My patience is wearing thin. Why am I even here? Here? On the stage, you mean? Um, because I wanted you to recite a poem. That's right, that's why I got you on this stage, to invoke the fear of public speaking in you. This will allow me to check your emotional response. Very important in these sort of tests. So, if you could go ahead and recite a poem. In the shadows where we live, searching for compassion. Oh, you're actually doing it? I wasn't really expecting that. So, you've been taught to obey orders. I see. Oh, now wait. Be quiet. They regularly patrol this area. Don't let them see you. So you know I'm not a Terminator. Of course I do. They are way better shots than you. Then why are you making me do all this? <sighs> because I want you to grab something for me before I help you. Turn left when you leave the theater. There you'll find a plane crash site. <laughs> My spider scout should be stuck somewhere around. Just grab it and bring it back to me in one piece.
I've got it. Good job. I'm in my vault in one of the buildings up the street. Meet me there. This is it. I know it looks tempting, but please do not destroy that plasma container. It powers this whole lab. Sorry for making you run around like that. But because of the recent increase in Terminator patrols, I couldn't get to that spider scout myself. Can I see it? Thank you. I have a gift as a token of my appreciation. While you're out looking for my spider scout, I used some leftover parts to make a new radio for you. I've been picking up your signal for a while now, and I imagine that Skynet has as well. So. I've made it harder to decipher. You won't have to worry about them eavesdropping. You've been listening, so you know why I'm here. Yes. Now, let me see that gun. What a beauty. I've got to tell you, if Skynet wasn't so gung-ho about killing everything, <laughs> what's interesting about it is that the matter inside is far more condensed. That way, it releases more energy on discharge, dealing much more damage. And also, its plasma blast is violet, so that's different. Can you bypass the encryption lockout so we can use it? Alvin couldn't. Alvin couldn't bypass an egg timer if his life depended on it. I'll do it, but it's not that simple. First, you'll have to bring me Skynet's latest security codes. Security codes? They will allow us to access Skynet's mainframe, but they change them regularly, so I need you to connect to any HK unit and download the newest security codes. To do that, you'll need my code reader. When I was excused from the shelter, they made me leave all my equipment behind. Alvin should have my code reader. Okay, is that everything? As far as the security codes go, yes. Then I'm moving out. Actually, I've got a question about that infiltrator that you have there. Is it intact? Or more specifically, its neural net CPU? I've been hacking Skynet's units and I'm noticing similarities in their patterns. I think I'm ready to reprogram the CPU from that infiltrator. It's more powerful than any other. Should I ask Baron about that too? No, 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 she can't know about it. She would not approve. I know how this sounds, but you need to steal it for me. What? 
I'm the only one that can reprogram that chip. For some reason, Skynet has started to learn at a geometric rate. We need to prepare ourselves for whatever's coming, and I believe that having an infiltrator on our side will give us the advantage. Just think about it. Commander. Rivers, what's the status? Max alive. He will help us, but he needs a device he left at the shelter. All right, we can do that. Report to me when you get back. Over and out. Help. What are you doing here? You have to get the ones you care about to leave the shelter. They'll be in great danger if you don't do what I say. But remember, Jacob, that has to stay between us. Why? Because things need to play out the way they're supposed to, that's why. I have been here from the beginning. Each of your friends already knows the reason they need to leave. You just have to remind them. Who the hell are you? That, I can't tell you. It could change the choices that you make in the future, and we can't have that. So whatever happens, you can't know my identity. Not yet, at least. Do you know anything about a CPU that Mac wants me to steal? I do. If hacked, we could take over an infiltrator. Dr. Mac is capable of doing that. I'm not so sure if Alvin can. I think you should steal it. I think I'm more confused than I was before. Just stay focused. We'll see each other soon. It's quiet. You know, quiet's good. Quiet means we're not getting shot at. Rivers, DN four six eight nine zero. Welcome back, Sergeant. Hey, Jacob. Did you see Jennifer on your way here? Isn't she here? She hasn't come back yet, but I'm sure she's fine. About Hollywood Hills. How did it go? I've been to Hollywood Hills and found your old house. Did you? found Peter's body there. They got him, but he left you a letter. I'm sorry. I... Uh, I have to get back to work. God knows there's plenty to do. Aaron. What, Jacob? Do you understand what I'm saying? And what do you want me to do about it? Weep for him in front of you? Believe me, I have plenty of sleepless nights in my future. But excuse me if I'm not going to make a spectacle of myself in front of everyone. I want to be left alone now. Don't touch that! That's how things get lost. God damn it! I thought I told you, I can't work with so much noise, I need absolute silence, so please stop that. I swear I should just join Skynet!
Have you heard that Dr. Max still alive? Yeah, if I ever get my hands on him, I swear to God. Huh, you're back. How is Hollywood Hills? Crawling with Terminators. And what about Mac? How's he? Is he compliant? Fine, but he needs Skynet security codes if we want him to reprogram that plasma rifle. Fair enough. Talk to Alvin about that. Okay, I will. Did Mac say anything else? No, that's all he said. Okay. Talk to Alvin about those security codes and then come back to my quarters. I'll tell them to let you in. And one more thing, talk to Ryan. That buggy's been sitting there broken for too long. See if something's going on. I've got a suspicion that he's hiding something from me. Alvin! Huh? Uh, you know what? I'm actually jealous of Mac. He's out there alone. No one's bothering him. If I had those working conditions, I would be just as successful as him. He told me that I'll need some sort of a device to download Skynet security codes from an HK. Do you have it? Yes, about that. Um, do you remember that day in downtown? I do, it was very traumatic. And because of that, I may have forgotten to bring back some things. Including that device? And the quantum battery which powers it. You won't be able to use it without it. So I guess I'm off downtown. Yes, you do that. Hey, Jacob, what's happening? Baron wanted me to ask about that buggy. Is there a problem? Yeah, she's been nagging me to fix the electronics in this piece of shit for a while now. Do you think you can help me with it? Why are you asking me? You're the mechanic. Listen, I'm good with tools. You give me a car with a gasoline engine, I'll make it run. But this electronic shit? I don't know anything about that. Hell, most of my life, I live without electricity. Why not tell her? She won't let me cherry-pick my own responsibilities, you know that. She'll throw me right out of here if she finds out. That's why I need your help. Quartermaster will give you all the parts tell you what to do. Just think about it. What's going on? I'll get right to it. I'm here to pick up parts for that buggy. Wasn't Ryan supposed to take care of that? Baron specifically asked me to keep an eye on him. Can he really fix it himself? Sure he can. I'm just the delivery guy. That's it. Yeah. All right. Here are the parts. Do you need anything? Can I see
those look like fives to you? Uh, Ryan said they were. Commander's waiting for you. Well, here goes nothing. Commander. Welcome to the luxury part of the shelter. Oh, I fucking hate living underground. But hopefully we won't have to much longer. Thanks to people like us, this war will end soon. You proved that you'll do whatever it takes no matter the cost. And so will I. Don't think your efforts go unnoticed. You know, I killed a man long before I killed my first machine. And was hurt by a man long before a machine's hurt me. Apart from plasma burns, I've got man-made scars underneath these tattoos that I'll never forget. On the good days, they don't hurt, and I feel like this world is worth fighting for. On the bad days, they make me want to quit, give up and run like everyone else. But we're so close. Skynet's almost finished. So you can understand I can't run. I need your help, Jacob. I need you to get rid of Mac. He's unpredictable. He sabotaged our mission and killed our men before. I cannot let it happen again. I need you to kill him as soon as he reprograms that rifle. You look shocked. But I think I can find a way to persuade you. If you're into it, that is. I am. That's what I thought. It needs to be done, Jacob. It needs to be done. Commander. Thank you.